Hi guys, so today we're going to be drawing a ice cream. So, um, this might be slightly bad today because um, we, I'm holding the phone instead of using this thingy. Because I'm deciding to do it on my bed because someone's being very annoying. So, we're going to start off with two lines that meet each other at the very bottom okay and then you're going to do that and then that I mean, if you want, you can have like, because we are drain ice cream. So you can have that as like melting ice cream coming down. And make sure you put it on the one on the outside as well. And then we're gonna go over like a big dome if you're struggling with this because i used to struggle with this as well i find if you pretend to do a circle but stop halfway so you start halfway and you stop halfway so yeah and you don't have to give it a face if you don't want to but today we're going to give it a face so two circles like that draw your insides make sure you have one big circle and one small circle and then you're gonna Sorry guys, you'll hear me sniffing quite a lot in this video. I've got a really bad cold. And it's summertime as well. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do that. Oh God, my hair fever is really bad as well. Oh, and then we're gonna do like this little V curve thing, and that is gonna be the little mouth. It's cute, right? <laughs> and when I'm also drawing ice creams, I tend to do like so sauce. So if you're gonna have some sauce. Then do like it this because it like when you have ice cream, we're gonna make it like realistic on this. It drops down, it just doesn't stay in one place, like it just doesn't. It's called gravity, people, right? And then we're gonna have if you want it where the eye is going down, like longer than the eye, pretend it's behind the eye. That is just so you can still see what it looks like in the eye. So you can see that you can use any pencil. I just tend to use this pencil. But I do have sketching pencils for when I like really need them, so. But because I'm not like proper drawing at the moment, like when I do these videos, they're not proper drawings. So with yours, try and keep it straight because I've made a huge mistake and made it go all wonky. So I'm actually gonna rub that out. I'm actually 
actually gonna make it straight all again make it all sh back up straight it's like behind this it can go like that really cool and then back straight but it can't be like an angle it just can't don't know why it just can't though actually it's not like illegal or anything but if you're gonna make it like look sort of realistic then don't make it wonky i'm just gonna go over these because it's a bit too dark then here too wonky So in this video, you can do, you can draw along, or you can just watch for ideas. So you can see here it's gone wonky, but I don't want to change that part. So it's gonna like wavy, and then it's like then straight again. So. So that is the source that I have. And then I want to put some sprinkles on mine. So to do sprinkles, you have to do like this round shape. So I'm gonna have sprinkles on the source and off the source. You can choose where you put your sprinkles though. And my last video when we did the hot chocolate, I'm very sorry guys, I couldn't, um, I didn't exactly know how to put the finishing results in so if you know how to and you can comment on this video please comment how to do it because i really need to know how to do that so if you watch my shorts you'll be able to see um it when on there when i've done a few more of these because i'll be showing the finishing results on this yeah but remember guys you can colour these as much as you want and if you want to see what mine looks like or you want to copy mine exactly well then you're gonna have to wait um until the short comes out if you can comment comment what i should do next because i'm not actually full of ideas Okay, right, um, that's enough sprinkles for me. Yeah, now that's enough sprinkles for me. So we're gonna do uh, line, uh, comb patterns, so. We're just gonna do lines like this for now. If you want to, cause you don't feel confident drawing straight lines, Please use a ruler unless you want them wavy. I'm not completely confident without a ruler, but I just go with it because even if there's some mistakes, sometimes they actually look mistakes, mistakes. They sometimes actually look good with the picture. So yeah, if you have melting ice cream coming down, um, that's gonna be on top off the cone so you're gonna have to pretend that it goes behind unless you want your ice cream to be underneath the cone but you can still see it that doesn't really make sense so so it's probably better to do it that way um And then you're gonna do lines like that. So the other way, the exact same lines, just the other way. Actually, I know what I need to do for my next video. I'm actually doing another drawing video today, actually after this one. So if you want to, go and check that out. And that is, um, oh yeah, we're drawing 
um, two 3D shapes. It's a cube, and if we have time, we're going to do... Actually, we always have time in a YouTube video. We're going to do two, and it'll be a cube and a cuboid. Don't know what a cube is. It's a 3D square. Don't know what a cuboid is. It's a 3D rectangle. Um, and that's what it looks like. So, goodbye, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye!